Hey there, hi there, um, my Geminis. Um, this reading is for you. I'm going to be doing the Romance Angel card deck. All right. This is just a general reading. I'm also going to be using the True Love reading cards. Um, I love love and I love angels um, and fairies and unicorns and goddesses um, so I'm going to be doing a reading for you your goddess knowledge card is Ampharite all right Ampharite is the ancient Greek triple goddess in her guise as ruler of the sea. Her name used synonymously with the ocean by Homer means the third one who encircles a moon goddess. Ampharite retained her individuality even under the later Greeks who had her married in to Poseidon. She has a special concern for all creatures of the sea and is responsible for the foaming waves. Just as Ampharite can moderate the winds and the sea, we can learn to calm the waves of our inner storms. All right, and that is your goddess knowledge card. Um, so I'm going to do a three card read. Alrighty. Your first card is the garden. Wow. It's really pretty. So if you look closely up here, you'll see a feminine figure laying out in the grass with a unicorn in the background and a willow tree and a fruit basket, the garden. All right, let's take a closer look at the garden card. Okay, so what does this garden card mean? Okay, the garden. Honor yourself as the beautiful person you are, trusting in life as it is. The garden is lush and fertile. When she is healthy, barren, and forbidding, when she is neglected, she ebbs and flows with the seasons, is still when she needs to be, and full of color. Life and nourishment, when the timing is right, she bursts with fruit and flowers and attracts all good things to her. Animals and people come to marvel at her beauty, enjoy her cool shade, inhale her fragrance, and restore themselves. In a world where we are constantly under pressure to be active, the idea of being the garden rather than the gardener can seem far too passive. In this context, however, to be passive means to be peaceful and in a state of trust, trusting that all you need is available to you without having to hunt it down. Modern women will wonder how long they need to wait for a sustainable gardener to come along, while modern men may feel that they have already have enough to do without having to nurture the feminine in their lives as well. The truth is that we all have an inner garden and gardener and true abundance develops in your life when you maintain a healthy balance between the two. You have drawn this card today because your inner garden is in the need of some attention. Be sure to reconnect yourself to the feminine cycles of nature by spending time in an actual garden and turn, tuning into the vibration of the season by enjoying a healthy meal made only from fruits and vegetables that are in season, filling a vase with fresh flowers, or by spending time outside where you will be exposed to the climate and environment. Consider the blessings and bounty you have to share with those you love. Honor your own inner cycles and see yourself once more as a beautiful person you are. 
All right, so that's your first card. Your second card is forgiveness. And here you have a feminine figure holding a rose. There's two angels above her with light shining all around her. There is a ruby, a heart, roses, a white bunny, and a pink bunny. I forgive myself. I am forgiven is what it says. When you forgive yourself and others, you create more space for light and love to flow in. The quickest and simplest way to reconnect with your greater sense of personal worth and that more love into your life is to forgive yourself completely. You don't even have to know what you are forgiving yourself for. The angels understand that feeling guilty about a whole array of things has been an ongoing part of our lives, and now they say it's time to let that go. The strange thing about guilt is that you can carry it without even realizing it, and it is often about trivial or long forgotten events. As you repeat the mantra below, the vibration of these beautiful worlds will flow through you. Forgiveness in cinemas, 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 cinemas with love. <laughs> acceptance, nurturing, and spiritual maturity, because in reality, none of these energies are separate from one another. They all work together. The uplifting vibration gently and gradually dissolves all the guilt and self-blame you might have stored in your physical cells, your chakras, and your energy field or aura. Letting go of these old energies is a relief, and as this darkness disappears, it creates space for more light and love to flow in. So, the more you see this mantra, the lighter and brighter you will feel. Literally. Most people think that forgiveness is about forgiving someone else. But, when you start with self-forgiveness, you quickly feel more lovable and find it much easier to accept others and forgive willingly when you need to. This creates space in your life for more joy and deeper personal connections. The forgiveness mantra, I forgive myself, I forgive myself, I forgive myself, I am forgiven. And those are really, really powerful words. And then we have emotional freedom. I had a feeling we were going to see some unicorns today after the, we saw the a unicorn in the garden. So this is another uh, unicorn with rainbow wings, an owl, stars, and a bunny rabbit, and snowflakes. 